All right, folks, 50 days from the Iowa caucuses, Governor Ron DeSantis seems to be throwing a Hail Mary. I love Hail Mary, but I don't think this one's going to work. But we will ask Charlie Hurt, Washington Times opinion editor, Fox News contributor, and Rich Lowry, editor-in-chief of the National Review. Gentlemen, before we get out our, um, before we get out our beads, if you will, our Hail Mary beads, I want to play um, <laughs> Robert, uh, whatever his name is, Vanderplas. And here's what he said in his endorsement of uh, Governor DeSantis. Take a listen, please. I'm thrilled to throw my personal endorsement and support uh, behind Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida. We need to find somebody who can win in 2024. And what we saw in 2022, the... All right, somebody who can win in 2024. Um, the polls have kind of overtaken that assertion. But uh, we'll talk about it. Let's see. Let, all right, before we do the real clear politics, Rich Lowry, um, how about your worry beads? I mean, what beads are going to work for Ron DeSantis? <laughs> he's throwing everything he can into this. His whole staff, what little money yeah. he's got left. But his foe is Trump. I don't know who he's running against. Is he running against Trump? Is he running against Nikki Haley? Uh, who's he running against? Yeah, so Larry, every public indicator that we're aware of says this is not a competitive race, right? Donald Trump is completely dominant in the national polls. He's dominant in the head-to-heads against DeSantis and Haley. And he's in a strong position in Iowa and New Hampshire. Not as strong uh, nationally, but still strong. So the one caveat you put on that is Iowa and New Hampshire can break late. And DeSantis, I think he's doing the right thing here. If Trump's not stopped in Iowa, I don't think he's going to be stopped anywhere. The horse is going to be out of the barn. DeSantis is stronger still in Iowa than he is in other states. He's done everything right, at least on the ground, visited 99 counties or just about to, endorsement of the governor, endorsement of social conservative leaders. We just heard from one there. But can his number budge? You know, he's stuck in the high teens, tied now with Nikki Haley. So... Again, it can break late, but the breaking's got to start, Larry. You know, five or six weeks left. He's got to start moving if the movement's going to happen. So let's see. Real clear politics in Iowa Trump 47, DeSantis 17, Haley 14. Uh, I don't know if uh, where Vivek Ramaswamy is uh, in that one. But Charlie, that's a tough hurdle. And I think Rich has put it right. Um, if he doesn't, if. DeSantis doesn't win in Iowa, he's finished. But I'm still trying to figure out what a win is. In other words, is DeSantis in Iowa running against Trump, or is he running against Haley? <laughs> or maybe he's running against Vivek. Right. Or maybe he's running against worry beads. I mean, I don't understand who he's running <laughs> against. You've got to help me out, Charlie Hurt. Well, well, and I think that that's kind of the whole problem here is that when, you know, the whole purpose of Ron DeSantis's campaign was to be an alternative to Trump, and he has failed at that. If you go back to the moment he announced, you know, Ron DeSantis's numbers were never higher than before he announced. Once he announced, they've been sort of tumbling down ever since, and people aren't buying whatever it is that he's selling. And because he's done such a poor job of being that alternative to Trump, he's opened up all these doorways for all these other people, whether it's Vivek Ramaswamy or Nikki Haley, to, to swoop in and pick up and splinter a lot of that, uh, that, that, that alternative to Trump vote. And it's not working. And, uh, you know, obviously, these Hail Mary passes, these sort of, um, you know, go, going all in on a state, you know, there are very few examples that you can point to where this has worked. The only one that I can really think of uh, in modern times of course, was John McCain in 2008, putting it all in on New Hampshire. But John McCain is a very different, you know, he's an old uh, political hand. He had a real, uh, a, a re genuine support, in, at least in the media, uh, maybe not so much uh, outside of the media. But, I, you know, and he, but he was a smart tactician, and I don't see any evidence of, of that out of uh, Ron DeSantis. Well, Rich Larry, I'll, just, I'll come so, back to that. I, I, don't, I don't mean to be redundant. But, look, so there are options here. None of them are palatable for DeSantis. DeSantis loses to Trump. That's no fun. But what if DeSantis loses to Haley? That's no fun either. Now, Haley mm -hmm. would, if Haley, she would, you know, suppose Haley gets 18 
and DeSantis gets 16 or 17, and then Trump gets all the rest. I mean, Trump's got a 30-point lead in, in Iowa. Uh, I mean, that'll wreck DeSantis. I mean, it seems to me anything that happens uh, short of actually beating Trump and DeSantis is gone. He's gone. I mean, tell me if I'm yeah, wrong, I Rich. Think, You're the yeah, political he has, guy. He has, to, he has to, I don't think you're wrong. He needs to win Iowa or very, very strong second in Iowa. But I think he really has to win it. And just to stick with, with the subject of football for a second, Larry, since we're talking about Hail, Hail Mary passes, did you see the, the, the video of Trump at the Clemson-South Carolina game last weekend? Politicians are not greeted kindly by sports fans and by football fans. He's out on the field, and he's treated like a conquering hero. Yeah. Now, it's SEC. It's a pro-Trump conference. But this goes to how he's a political and cultural phenomenon. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. You know, we can all say DeSantis should have done this differently or that differently. How do you beat that? You know, same thing with Nikki Haley. How are, you, how are they going to compete with that? That's what they're up against. So it does, it does take a Hail Mary pass. It's going to take a minor miracle in Iowa. You know, I thought he was going to—I thought you were going to use a church analogy, but, but football. <laughs> no, we were thinking football, Larry. Football's, you're, you're holier than we are. Foot, football's okay. <laughs> <laughs> a, Bill, a Bill Buckley Catholic church analogy. I was analogy. trying to think, what, what, what's, what's more than a Hail Mary? I don't know what more than a Hail Mary is. I think that that's kind of—you've sort of run out of all of your options if you've no. tried the Hail Mary and, yeah. and God doesn't smile on you. In, in that uh, moment. Hail Mary's top of the line, Charlie. You got that completely right. I mean, yeah. I don't want to bring religion <laughs> into this because, gee whiz, uh, Hail Mary <laughs> is top of the line. Uh, the other thing I want to ask is um, there's a debate coming up on the Sean Hannity show, Charlie. Uh, Newsom versus DeSantis. Now, um, I hope millions and millions and millions of people watch Sean. It's kind of like an also Rand's group. But then again, I was thinking, I was talking to my pal Steve Moore on the phone over the weekend. What if, um, what if uh, DeSantis clobbers uh, Gavin Newsom in this Sean Hannity debate? What if he clobbers him? Um, you know, could DeSantis redeem himself? I mean, after all, everyone's leaving California. They're all moving to Texas and Florida because of taxes and illegal immigration and crime and all the rest of it. So, um, you know, seeing uh, we have this church theme, what if DeSantis seeks salvation in the debate with Newsom? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. How amazing is it? That you, Gavin Newsom's not even running yet. Uh, Ron DeSantis is the one that can benefit the most out of the uh, out of a debate with a guy who's supposedly not even running. That's how bad of a situation Ron DeSantis is in right now. And I also think it's kind of interesting that you know th this does not necessarily benefit Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom has to run his campaign with all of the Democrat superdelegates and all the big wigs and fat cats. Who sit in, in ba uh, you know back room, smoke filled back rooms in order to assure that I ensure any hope of him uh, winding up being yeah. the nominee? Which I don't rule yeah. that out at this point. Yeah. You know, with a, it, every time you look at Joe Biden, well, you think, oh my gosh, how, how is he going to last another month? No, I mean, and, but look, that, but it's kind of interesting where we are. May, maybe DeSantis can find somebody he can beat in a debate. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure how yeah. that's going to play out at all. I mean, nice. talk about hail Mary's. Nice. Charlie Hurt, Washington Times, Rich Lowry, National Review. Right. Thank All right, you, Larry. kids. Football. X, X and O's. Yeah. X and O's. That's no, what we're right. thinking. Listen, man, this, this, <laughs> this, this, this third-string Giants quarterback went to Don Bosco. It's a Catholic school <laughs> someplace uh, in northern New Jersey.